Hello everybody, before I start this video I apologise for all of the background noise that you might hear over there or over there. So today I want to find out if I would survive a zombie apocalypse. So I have this quiz that tells me if I will or not. So I will leave the quiz in the links below so if you wanted to do it as well, go do it and let me know if you would survive or not. So let's do it. Question 1. First, where would you live? Centre of a large city, rural areas or outskirts. I'll live in the outskirts, because then you could probably hide. Secondly, do you know any survival knowledge or experience? So there's none, a little, some, quite a lot, or a lot, I'm an expert in the field. I'll say some. <laughs> Thirdly, do you have any firearm experience? None, only in video games, a little, some, quite a lot, or a lot, I'm an expert in the field. Only in video games. <laughs> GTA. Finally, do you have any first aid knowledge? I do. I have quite a lot. Okay, question five. Now to the action. You turn on the radio and hear reports of rotting corpses that have been reanimated and are eating people in your vicinity. Choose your plan of action. Prepare for the invasion. Gather weapons, supplies, families, friends, organize a party to look out for incoming hordes, fortify your positions, etc. Grab your weapon. It's time to pump some zombies full of lead. Barricade your home until the breakout subsides. Do nothing. It's a ridiculous prank. I would prepare. Definitely. But definitely find some friends that are like tough and buff. Question six. Where is the best position for your base? You can shop at a mall, restaurant, outdoor supply store, home store, market, or my house. I think I'd go for my house because you know that better than like, a restaurant. Like, you know all your secret hideouts or stuff. And just pray that you live near all of them. <laughs> I'm probably not going to survive. What vehicle would you take? Any old banger you can find, there's no time for fancy cars. A fast sports car, good for evading the hoarder and pers pursuing zombies. Off roader, good for navigating difficult terrain. A truck, provides space for supplies, weapons, and survivors. Or you walk. I would take an off-roader, if I'm living on the outskirts, kinda need that. What supplies would you take? Canned food and boiled water, good healthy food for, for holding out under sieges. Meat, bread, potato and carrots, power food to give you the edge when fighting hordes of zombies, Red Bull because they chocolate and sweets, energy to give you the extra buzz for a, a vital adrenaline. I'd probably go for meat, bread, potatoes and carrots. Question 9. Your weapon of choice would be shotgun, pump and full of lead, rifle, powerful, accurate and reliable, submachine gun, blast the hell of blast them to hell, heavy machine gun, assault rifle, those brainless and dead are gonna eat lead and die. Sniper rifle, drop them 50 drop them at 50 yards, throwing knives, class and weaponry full to not zombie survive, or a bazooka and grenades, taste the fire frick bags. Let's go for the heavy machine and assault rifle. With a sniper, you know, you have to just like look at it for ages until you do it. It's, it's crazy. A melee weapon of choice would be lead piping, baseball bat, golf club, machete, or brass knuckles. Let's go for a machete. As you are heading in the direction of your chosen destination, you sc spot a group of survivors struggling to repel an overwhelming horde of zombies. What do you do? Help with them, survival of the fittest, kill the zombies, then leave, kill the zombies and take the survivors, kill them all. Zomb humans and zombies are alike. If they weren't infected, I'd take them with me. Actually, no, I'd leave them just because they might turn and like kill me and take all my stuff. Sorry. You have reached your destination. I sound like a satanav. It's the first thing you do. Barricade the entrance and windows to get and get to the highest floor. Search for further supplies and survivors. Hunt for zombies or recline on a sofa and watch TV. I'd probably barricade. Safety is key. Your mother has scratched has been scratched and infected she only has days to live what do you do put a bullet in her head she's too lethal to, to threat and ignore throw her out in your base before she mutates into a zombie do nothing she's your mother she will stay with her till the end i'll probably do nothing and stay with her until she's a zombie then Despite your valiant efforts, your base has been overrun by zombies. You are fighting back but desperately struggling and have already lost your, most of your team. What do you do? Fight to the death. You're not going down without a struggle. Escape through the back exit with the remaining survivors and run for the hills. Accept your screw and surrender to the zombies. Unpin a fragmentation grenade and charge with incoming zombies, sacrificing your life to save your friends. No, let's escape. <laughs> We'll be pussies. And the final question is, you are surrounded by zombies with no weapons left, what do you do? Pray to God, scream like an animal and beat them down with your bare fist, act like a zombie, moan, scramble, dribble, 
Um, it's really a trash mistake. I would act like a zombie then escape. Let's submit. So your test results. I says test scores, and it has Will Smith. The last man on Earth is not alone. I am legend. Oh, my results is I narrowly survived. What does this mean? You narrowly crawled through six months of hell, very few of your family survived, and many of your friends perished. So I survived! Da -da -da -da! So if there's a zombie apocalypse, apocalypse, I'm going to live. Just. That's okay. I'm okay with that. And I'm sorry if you're my friend that died. Or my family. It was nice knowing you. But yeah, I will post the link to this quiz in the bottom. Tell me how you survived, if you narrowly survived, if you didn't or if you are like amazing. Please let me know in the comments and like this video and all my other links are in the description below so check them out if you want to and I will see you next week with a new video. I love you all. Bye!